All right, let's give this one a go. I saw this uh, from some students and I thought it was a good one. Basically, A is the answer if quantity A is bigger, B is the answer if quantity B is bigger, C is the answer if both quantities are equal, and D is the answer if the data is not sufficient to determine which one's bigger. Give this one a shot on your own and then we'll do it together. And in the meantime, let's listen to some music. All right, name that tune. I hope you tried it on your own. Now we're gonna do it together. Let's see, just for the heck of it, we'll draw it out. The base is 10, right? And then we have 40 degrees. You don't have to obviously draw this out like this. I just, I, I enjoy doing it so I can show you. 40 degrees. All right, so there's our parallelogram. We have this, this side here is eight, this side here is eight, and this is 10 and this is 10. Because in the parallelogram, the, the, the two bases are equal and those two side, uh, sides are equal. Uh, so it's uh, eight, eight and 10. So what the question is asking us here is basically what is bigger, quantity A, which is 80, or quantity B, which is the area of this parallelogram. Now, to measure the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. And so we, we don't know the height. It doesn't give us the height. But the height would be, if you look at this as a 90 degree, uh, the way to measure the height would be, be whatever that 90 degrees is there. So that would be the height. Obviously, we can't measure it on the on an exam, but that, that would be the height. Um, and the reason why the parallelogram is base times height. Imagine uh, for a second if you took this triangle, okay? So let's say you took, you cut out this triangle, you could literally put it right here, and then you'd have a rectangle where uh, this 10 would be the, the whole base across, and then this height would be here, and then the height would be there. So you'd have a rectangle, right? And then obviously the dimensions of a rectangle are base times height. So that's, I mean, that's the philosophy why the area of the parallelogram is the base times the height. Okay, so let's go back to this guy. We, we see this line here. Let's call this line, doesn't matter, let's call it X. That's the height. Now, because it's 90 degrees, we, we have a 90 degrees there, and then we have 90 degrees there. If you think about this for a minute, in this, you see here we have a right triangle where we have this this side of X. Then you can call this side here of Y from here to here. That's Y. And then from here to there is X. Okay, that is a right triangle wherein X, eh, we don't want to use that. I can't barely see that. Where you have X squared plus Y squared will equal 8 squared. Uh, that side over there would be the hypotenuse. So x squared plus y squared equals 8 squared. y squared has to be some sort of positive number. And since y is some sort of positive number, uh, x squared has to then be less than 8 squared. And if x squared is less than 8 squared, then x has to be less than 8. So therefore, x is some number less than 8. Uh, and then if you want to calculate the base of this parallelogram, I'm sorry, if you want to calculate the area of the parallelogram, you're going to have the base, go back up to here, the base is 10, and the height is something less than 8. So the area of the parallelogram will be 10 times something less than 8, which would then be something less than 80. So there you go. So the base times the height, and the height has to be something less than 8, then has to be something less than 80, and that's quantity B. Uh, is the area of the parallelogram. So the area of the parallelogram is something less than 80. Uh, quantity A was 80. So obviously 80 is greater than something less than 80. 
So quantity A is bigger. Uh, the answer is A for GRE purposes. Just for the heck of it, if this is 40 degrees, uh, this angle is 40 degrees, right? Which we measured that from the from the outset. That's 40 degrees. And then we measure that side is 8, that side is 8, that side is 10, that side is 10. Just for the heck of it, let's measure that height. It would be, um, maybe I was off by a tiny bit. So, you know, give or take 5. But it's about 5. So the area, just for the heck of it, is somewhere close to 5, which is the height, times the base. And that's 10. So somewhere close to 50. Um, anyway, forget that for a minute. The, the real answer is definitely less than 80. Uh, all right, good stuff. All right, I challenge you. If you want to keep kicking butt in math, watch this next video and just keep on it. Practice makes perfect. So watch this video and kick some butt.